as a bag collector, how do you narrow down to seven bags? Stay tuned. Hello, my name is Andrea. Welcome to my channel. Or if you're new here, welcome. If you're not new here, welcome back. And thanks for joining me in the babe cave today. And as the video title is basically, what would you do if you only could have one bag, if you could only have two bags, and so on to seven bags total? That is very challenging for a bag collector. <laughs> and a bag lover um, and this tag was created by Melissa Adams Wade and I'll link her down below and I was tagged by Julie from Agent Bag Reviews thanks Julie and this is super hard to do I feel like I've done a similar tag like this just a little different twist to it so I have my reasons I have my favorite brands is what I chose from because I know that I will constantly always have one of those in my collection at all times. <laughs> and so without further ado, the one bag out of all my collection that if I could only have one bag, it would be definitely still the Coach Cassie. I know I have said it time and time again, but this bag is the most functional, best, well-made bag in my opinion. It has plenty of room for your things. The strap is crossbody. It's easy to get in and out of. <clears throat> it has the top handle the adjustable strap. I picked my black one and not my pink one because it can go with most of my, my stuff is black. <laughs> most of my outfits are black, but uh, with some pops of color, but I figure I'll go with my black one, black Coach Cassie in the full size for my one and only bag if I could only have one. <laughs> and it is in this beautiful pebbled leather this bag was a funny story. I'll say it real quick. I think on a Facebook group, someone had alerted the group that these were on Dillard's or Macy's or something. And they were like $108. So I think a bunch of us ran over there, added to cart. It was like $117, $117 with taxes or shipping or whatever and nobody knew that if it was actually going to go through <laughs> and, and then finally after a few days four or five days the first of the people that got these bags started receiving them so I was like oh there's hope they're not going to cancel it because <laughs> 118 dollars for a coach Cassie is unbelievable <laughs> so anyway that's my story and it's very uh, lucky that I even got it for that price, but they need to bring these full size back. I've said that time again, and I still believe it. So that's my one and only if I had to only one. The next one, so I started with Coach. Let's go Louis Vuitton. It's another brand that is one of my favorites. I don't have a ton of it, but I have enough. And that would be the Damier Abin a bean Aina PM beautiful canvas I got this off fashion file a few years back I've had zero <clears throat> I've had zero corner wear it was uh, in excellent c condition this bag is so handy if you're wondering wanting an alternate size and with a zipper Aina PM is, you know, a better option if you're not wanting the, the Neverfull, in my opinion. <laughs> it has the front zip pocket. It has the zipper closure. 
it's all weather, you know, canvas, coated canvas. And I can't say enough about it. If it's a good amount, this was an excellent purchase. Still love the Aina PM. And I guess this will be if I had to have, if I could have two bags. <clears throat> and of course, the third brand that I have the most of, besides Coach and Louis Vuitton, is Dooney. <laughs> and this is my recent thrift thrifted equestrian bag and you know why I chose this is because of the condition and it's vintage and it's in navy blue and the British tan it's a crossbody you were it's really really almost pristine condition I chose and it has also a back pocket it's all weather leather you can wear it all seasons. It's pretty easy to get in and out of. I've showed this already. But yeah, this is a, uh, if I could only have three bags, I had to have a Dooney, of course, as well. And this is again, the equestrian in navy. And I think this is British tan or something like that. Here's the, the back one more time just a gorgeous vintage bag so that's if I could have three bags this next one I've showed many times and along with Dooney I, I want to keep a vintage coach and uh, because I actually have the receipt for this bag it wasn't my receipt but I believe it was from 1994 they paid around $200 for this beautiful, it's called the Coach Willis Top Handle with the gorgeous hardware, turn lock. Again, I am a fan of back pockets. You can wear this any time of year. I have a lot of brown bags too. I'm, <laughs> I'm a fan of all kinds of bags, but so yeah, this is the, and also it's in almost pristine condition. I think I spent like $40 for it and just so you'll see it if you haven't seen it already this is the receipt that was inside it when I bought it it's kind of hard to read but see it says coach on top and they bought it December 27th 1994 for $218 it's a little hard to read. $218 with tax. I love that there's a receipt in here. It's it's one that I, I'm gonna cherish, just like they did, because they took really good care of this. I also like their the little dangle zipper pulls. But again, it's the underbelly of the leather. Beautiful condition. Nice space. Got a front pocket here. If you're looking for vintage coach, right here, the Will top handle Willis is a beauty and it's very handy. So that would be if I could have four bags. All right, this next one, I feel like more people are gravitating back to these bags <laughs> and it's back to Dooney and I feel like I'm going to keep one of these. I, I'm still debating on whether to sell some of my regular size satchels from Dooney and Burke. And uh, because they are big. But this is one that's made in the USA. It has the red underneath and the tassels. I got it for a really good deal. This is one of those satchels that I just... I don't want to part with it's just beautiful the hard you know the hardware is the 24 karat plated hardware everything is feet on the bottom and people have taken these out in the rain and it dries just the way it was so it just the whip stitching on the handles this is one of them that I won't get rid of. I mean, I haven't gotten rid of any of my satchels. 
this one I just it's gorgeous the black with that red right there so pretty so yeah I have to keep a satchel in the this is number this is number five number six is a bag that I always wanted it's not my unicorn bag which is my Louis Vuitton multicolor over there which I know it's surprising <laughs> But it is the Speedy 25. It's the regular, not the bandolier with the strap. Again, all weather. It only has a top handle. Still fits a lot of stuff inside. I know it's surprising out of these seven that I did not pick any monogram. <laughs> but I feel like I'm getting less and less of a fan of the Vaquetta leather. I like the the Damiella bean print. So I don't know. I just feel like this is always going to be a classic. It's the perfect size, the 25. So this will be my number six if I can only have six bags. <laughs> this next one is a coach. <laughs> like I said, I, I picked Coach Dooney and Louis Vuitton because they're my favorite brands and I have the most of each of those and the quality of the ones I have can't be beat um, and for the prices that I got some of them they just can't and this is no exception it is my coach pillow Madison oh I can't I can't say enough about the luxury that this feels I mean, it's not a Chanel, but I imagine that Chanel's quality, maybe, maybe not today, who knows, quality issues, but I just, the luxury that this screams, it really is this beautiful black Napa leather, super soft, squishy, the chain detail even has the leather inside that. And it has the dark, is it gunmetal hardware, I believe, or black hardware. This is amazing. And I got it for an amazing price. <laughs> no feet on the bottom, but it fits me shoulder. I'm not sure if it can be in, in any weather, but I'm pretty sure it can be. <laughs> My all-time favorite is Coach Turnlocks. Then here's the inside we've all seen. If you haven't, this is a, the full size Coach Pillow Madison is the, in the color black. And it has the magnetic front flap. And then there's the inside with the dust bag. But anyway, just, I just, I, if I had to pick, this would definitely be in my top seven. <laughs> and of course, a back pocket. I think my favorite features on a bag is either it has a back pocket or a front zipper like the Aina PM. So if it has the outer pockets, I'm a fan of it. <laughs> and this Coach Madison is no exception. So to recap, we have the Coach Cassie the Louis Vuitton Aina PM, the Dooney and Burke equestrian bag in navy, the Coach top handle Willis bag, the Dooney and Burke satchel in the color black with the Florentine leather, the Speedy 25, and rounding out the number seven, the Coach Pillow Madison with the quilted leather. <laughs> so that is uh, it for me. Thank you for tagging me. And uh, I feel like those are good choices. If I were limiting myself to seven bags, those would be really excellent choices if I only had that many. Of course, we all know that I have so many. <laughs> yeah, this was a, a thinker. So if you haven't done this tag already, do it. If you have, then I'll try to tag some people down below. 
you don't have to do it if you've already done it, obviously. And if you want to do it and I haven't tagged you, do it. <laughs> and I appreciate you all for watching. And don't forget to hit the like, comment down below. Would you pick these of the seven choices? Would you pick these? And uh, what are your choices? Do you what? Because it's really hard because not many people just have one bag, let alone, or seven bags, let alone one bag in their collection. <laughs> Especially if you're watching the a YouTube channel uh, and you're watching about handbags, that means that you have some, at least. Uh, anyway, thank you for watching. Hit the bell so you won't miss my videos. And until next time, I'll talk to you soon. Bye.